Coming up on Mountain News This Morning, a local fire department gives some tips to avoid getting sick when you need to warm up your home. And we see some warmer than average winter temperatures here in our region and a lack of snowfall. Dedicated to Eastern and Southern Kentucky, this is WYMT Mountain News This Morning. Good morning, I'm Chas Gay Hart. It is 631 on Monday, December 27th. Let's go back over and see what Brandon's up to in the Weather Center. Well, we're tracking a little rain this morning, Chas, but yep. otherwise it's been fairly quiet this morning, except for the temperatures are actually going up instead That's of down. Sounds good to me. Exactly. Not everybody, but to me, I'm I know. happy. Some people are like, where's winter at? Where's it at? But uh, this morning, it, they're still going up this morning, and we're going to continue to watch that for a little while longer. Let's take a look at satellite and radar loop for the last little bit. A couple of spotty showers have fallen in some locations overnight, so watch out for that. As you head out the door this morning, US, one, or excuse me, US 23 over at Norton, Virginia. I was thinking about US 119, US 23 over Jenkins, but no, this is just 23 over at Norton. Things looking all quiet here as we start our post-Christmas commute this morning and you'll see temperatures already into the 60s down to the south in many locations and you see those temperatures climbing quickly upper 50s and low 60s across the board forecast today up to 67 rain chances will continue to increase as we head deeper into the day and into the nighttime hours as well but scattered is the key word to remember today so don't forget your rain gear as you head out the door this morning chas thanks brandon well christmas marked one year since a vehicle packed with explosives detonated in downtown nashville in the minutes before the bomb detonated, Nashville police officers went door to door evacuating buildings. The explosive laden RV was parked on city's historic 2nd Avenue and a loudspeaker was counting down to the blast. Betsy Williams home was destroyed in the explosion. We are reflecting on the kindness, the generosity, the beautiful spirit of so many people who have come forward in this year for the bravery, of the fire and police department. Williams, like many others, is still waiting for a settlement from her insurance company to fully recover from the explosion. The suspect, 63-year-old Anthony Quinn Warner, was the only fatality. Investigators said he was driven by paranoia. The blast tore through about 60 downtown buildings. More than 1,000 people lost jobs and hundreds of people lost homes. An accidental shooting on Christmas Day has left a three-year-old in North Carolina hospitalized. Henderson County deputies say the toddler gained access to a gun and accidentally pulled the trigger. The child was airlifted to Mission Hospital in Asheville and is still undergoing treatment. Detectives from the Henderson County Sheriff's Office Major Crimes Unit are conducting an investigation. For the second year in a row, Parents of Angels displayed its angel tree in downtown Hazard on Christmas Day. WIMT's Chaz Jenkins spoke with the members on the significance of the event. A display inspired by other decorations in the downtown area. It's just been a blessing to so many mothers and fathers that, that come here and help with this. You know, to, it's, it's like a, a gift that we can give them. Helping parents and guardians cope with the loss of a child. You're in a huddle when it happens and when you're with a group that's lost they know you're feeling. Especially during the Christmas season. Every day is hard, but the holidays are, except, you know, exceptionally hard. So to be able to do this, it, I mean, it just brings peace. Hoping to continue the tradition for years to come. We need to keep our kids alive, you know, for their memories, for the remembrance of our children that we've lost. With a display that is bigger and better than before. We have been talking, we do want maybe a 12 foot tree or maybe a 15 foot tree. So yeah, we already have a lot of other ideas going. Helping the families of the region during a difficult time. In Hazard, Chaz Jenkins, WYMT Mountain News. Carol says any parent wanting to put an ornament on the tree to honor a loved one can do so at any time. Well, during this time of year, people tend to crank up the heat or add more heating sources to their homes which can increase any risk of carbon monoxide leaks and poisoning. Because carbon monoxide is colorless and odorless, it can be difficult to know when you're experiencing a leak. Hazard Fire Department Captain Jason Combs 
says it's important to invest in a carbon monoxide, monoxide detector to keep you and your family safe from CO leaks. He adds there are several symptoms to look out for when it comes to CO exposure. Mild headaches, uh, dizziness, uh, the skin will turn uh, flush, reddish colored. Uh, long periods of time can issue uh, severe breathing difficulty and sometimes even death. Captain Combs adds that you can pick up a CO detector from places like Lowe's or Walmart, or you can contact your local fire department to see if they have any detectors they can give to you. This winter has been unusually warm for the region, and it's surprising both forecasters and those who watch weather as a hobby. Along with much higher than average temperatures, there has been no measurable snowfall yet. And if we do not see snow before January 4th, we will tie the record for this longest time without measurable snowfall. This warm air was one ingredient that caused the deadly tornado outbreak earlier in the month. But we've been tracking severe weather, which is uh, the kind of severe weather that we've been tracking is just unbelievable for this time of year. I've never seen anything like it. Uh, so it is, uh, it, it's unusual what, what it's making uh, storm chasers and meteorologists and everybody that works in this field, what it's making us go through. If you like colder and snowy weather, Forecasters say there's still plenty of time for that to happen before the winter is over. One restaurant here in Perry County kept its doors open on Christmas Day. With new business hours, Circle T Restaurant operated until 8 p.m. Saturday. The establishment has made a reputation for itself being one of the few businesses that still operate on Christmas Day. In the morning, people were opening their presents and stuff like that. But later in the day, I think a lot of people will be hungry. There's nowhere else to eat but here. So they're going to come down here and get them something to eat. Noble says she enjoys the work and was happy to serve those needing a meal during the holidays. Francis's Diner was another hazard restaurant that was also open on Christmas. Yesterday marked the first day of a week-long celebration of Kwanzaa. The holiday became popular in the 1980s in tandem with the Black Power Movement. Following Christmas, the non-religious observation of African Americans' ancestral roots celebrates seven core principles. In a way similar to the menorah in Hanukkah, a candle is lit each night on a seven-branch candelabra called the Canera. The first candle lit on Sunday is for the principle of unity in the family, community, nation, and race. The celebration of Kwanzaa ends on the first day of the new year, 2022. <laughs> Six thirty-nine here on this Monday morning, and temperatures definitely the big story. We've got a few spotty showers around as well, but you see a lot of sixties out there. Now remember, just a few short hours ago, we were talking about forties and fifties, and now it's fifties and sixties. A couple of forties still hanging out there. Forty-eight Jonesville and Ashland. I'd say they'll be in the fifties there before too long as well. Out the door forecast: southwest winds pushing those temperatures up, even with the overcast conditions, even with the rain chances. I think we we'll top out around sixty-seven a little bit later on today. Chas. Thank you, Brandon. And thank you for joining us. The time is now 639. Still to come on Mountain News this morning. The royal family across the pond experiences a scare during Christmas. We'll have those details on the way.